Sarah Klassen here, yoga teacher and personal trainer at Interlochen, and today we got a hit workout. All right, so true to my fashion, not sure how long this is going to take, we will find out together. But we're first going to start with a nice long warm up. So we're going to just go ahead and all you're going to need for today's uh, workout is a set of medium sized weight or whatever weight you have available. So whatever you have at your house, um, even like soup cans, you can find people have been using laundry detergent, children, whatever you have available. But that's all you're gonna need besides just one set of weight. If you have two sets, grab a lighter set and a heavier set. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start by squatting it out, rolling on up. So warm it up through those legs. Now I will warn you, this is like my fourth workout today, so I'm feeling pretty warm, but I'm gonna make sure I get you all guys warmed up and ready to rock today. So we're gonna go ahead and take one more, and then we're gonna walk it out to that high plank. And then from here, you're gonna alternate right foot up and then left foot. So shoes are optional. I always work out usually barefoot at home. <laughs> That's my preference. Um, but you can definitely wear shoes. You don't have to. If you have socks, though, I find socks to be kind of slippery at, um, around the house, so just to warn you there. Go ahead and take that right foot up, left hand is going to stay where it is, right arm is opening to the sky and coming back down, taking a few of these, opening up through that chest, nice long fingers, nice long energy through that right hand, one more, and then leaving it up, straightening through those arms, and then placing that hand down, stepping it back, left foot goes up, left arm reaches to the sky, down and up, taking a few of these, warming up through that torso. One more, and holding up high to the sky, leaving it here, placing that hand down, stepping it back, high plank, taking a few shoulder blade push-ups, dropping that chest down, and up. So shoulder blade push-ups, you're just really using your scapulas, or those two wingy parts in the back. You can also do this from your knees, and I will give you modifications for everything today. So don't feel like this is going to be too hard, I will give you modifications, and you will be able to do it no matter your level. Pushing it up and back, down dog, pedaling out those heels. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and take that right leg high to the sky, bend into your right knee. And then from here, stepping that right foot through, coming up into a high lunge. And we're gonna take three pulses and open and pause. Three and open and pause. One more time, three little pulses and open and pause. Go ahead and frame that right foot, stepping it back, down dog. Left foot comes high to the sky, left foot between the hands, coming up, low lunge, three pulses, and opening it up. Back to that pulse, and open one more time, and open. Framing that left foot, stepping it back, high plank, T-spine rolls, opening your right arm and then left. You can always do this from your knees. And yep, this is the warm up right now. We're not quite to the workout. And go ahead and take a seat, dropping down onto your bottom. You're gonna go ahead and come into 90-90. So, shoot, hopefully you can see me, but <laughs> your foot is gonna be here. Your knees are gonna pick up. Your knees are gonna just simply place right back down. Your feet never move. So 90-90, maybe if I face the camera, that might help me, but you're gonna come here, drop it here, Feet will go to the floor, and then drop those knees to the opposite side. Knees come to the sky, feet don't move, knees drop down. If you can't do this with your hands above you, like I was just doing, hands can come behind you, and that can help too. If you have tight hips, that might be more helpful. If you wanna do a little core, hands will come up here. If you're thinking, man, is she gonna be this loud and crazy the whole workout? Probably. So, <laughs> that tends to be what happens. Uh, when you've done a lot of videos in one day. Last ones. And go ahead and pop it on up. From here, we're just going to go ahead and squat. Maybe you come up to those toes. So warming up through those heels, warming up through those Achilles. Warming up those legs. And then we're just going to go ahead and alternate curtsies. So stepping it behind, we're going to add a kick. Place that foot down. Step it behind the other side. Kick foot down, alternating sides, a couple more, until we feel really good, and we're ready.
ready to rock. So we're gonna do three sets of everything today, but I'm gonna modify and rest. I'm gonna modify each round slightly, so that way you won't get bored with things as well. All right, we're starting. Grab a dumbbell, just one weight. If you're using this, we're gonna be doing it for shoulders. So whatever you want for shoulders for this first one. So we're gonna start, we're gonna have a racked position, which means right up here over your shoulder. We're gonna step back, reverse lunge into a shoulder press. We're gonna have it in our right hand, our left leg is gonna be working. So left leg steps back, reverse lunge. We're gonna stand and shoulder press. Step it back, left leg, stand and shoulder press, good. So usually with each round, you get a little bit more comfortable with each of the moves. So that's where I'm gonna slightly add on. So hopefully we can kind of have a good um, variety so we don't get bored, but also we get a good workout. We got two more on this side. Last one. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch. So left hand now has the weight hovering it above that left shoulder. Right foot steps back, reverse lunge, step and press. Good. So as you're doing this, taking note with the core, can your ribs stay down? Can your core stay engaged? That's our goal, is the sneaky core moves in every move we do today. Last two, and if you're mindful, you'll see that we are working our core each time, and done. Weights go down, right foot steps back, or I mean, sorry, left foot steps back, right foot stays forward, and we're just pulsing little lunges. So pulsing it down. If you wanna keep your weights, because I know some of you will, you can always keep your weights, that's fine. 13, 14, and switch. Left foot forward, right foot back, pulsing it down. So if you have your weights, you'll just hold them at your sides. You don't need them. You can just pulse without. One of the next ones we're gonna add on to this one, you might not want your weights for. And done, that's why I did it that way. Butt kicks are next. Just get the heart up, flush out the legs. Butt kicks in place here so you don't have to jump. I have very minimal jumping today, so if this does not feel good, again, in place, it's just here. So you decide, just getting the heart rate up a little bit, flushing out the legs. Three, two, and one. Grabbing your weights again. Might be lighter weights this time. We got rows to kickbacks. So for this one, you're gonna be bent over at your waist, shoulders pulled down and back. Row to the side of the chest, kick back, squeeze in and down. We're gonna do 10 of these. Row it up, squeeze it in, and down. Here we go now, three, we're doing 10. So don't think that we have three left, sorry. Four. Now with each one, I do want you to go ahead and squeeze. So don't fly through these. Sometimes the tendency is to go so fast, we're not actually using our muscles. So we wanna make sure we are engaging those triceps, which make up 70% of the upper arm. So when we talk about having nice toned arm, that's what we mean, we want that tricep muscle. So we wanna make sure we give it a nice squeeze and down. Putting those weights down, head to the floor. We're gonna do a high plank with a windshield wiper. So high plank, right knee to right elbow, bring it across, bring it back, and down. Keep that foot hovering, bring it to the right elbow, bring it to the left, bring it to the right, and hover. On your knees, keep going, but you're gonna in, out, and down. So always can go to that knee. So notice my left knee is down now, or you can stay on that toe. We're looking good. So really connecting with the lower abdominals. Again, resist flying through. Try to make connection. One more on this side. And down, good. Go ahead and just hop off those wrists. Shake those wrists around. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. If your wrists are really bothering you, sometimes grabbing a set of dumbbells, putting the dumbbells down, that will help. So now left knee up, across, and back, good. Again, same thing, can be done from the knees. So a reminder, knee is just here and back. So you decide where you're at. I rarely have breaks in workouts, so just to warn you, when you need one, you take one. We're looking good. Last two. Last one. Very good. All right. Back up for round two. One dumbbell. This time, reverse lunge, shoulder press with a knee 
knee drive. So we're going to add a balancing component. So right hand has the weight, left foot steps back. This time, left knee raises as the right arm presses. So back and press. Good. Testing my balance. Three. We're looking good. We got 10 of these on each side. Exhaling as you press. Last two. Last one. Very good. Other side. So stepping back. Right leg. Left arm presses. Right knee drives. If you're really struggling with that balancing component, eliminate it. So just go to your regular press. So if you're really topsy-turvy, don't worry about it. You can come back to that and you can practice some balance. Maybe on a different day. Or if you want to really work on your balance, check, you know, push yourself through it. I'm all about finding what works for you. You do you. One more. Very good. Weight can go down or you can hold it. Pulsing lunges. Right leg in front, left leg in back. Pulsing down. Now, you can stay here. We're going to do a few more this time. And you can just stay with your pulses. You do not have to add this component. But if you do want to, because I know some of you will, you're going to bounce. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. So you decide if you want to add that jump or if you just stay down for your pulses. So it's one, two, three, jump if you're jumping. I don't want to mess you up because you probably are out of sync now with me. But you do you. One more. Good. Other side. Step back, right leg, left leg forward, pulsing it out. So starting with those pulses, making sure that left glute is activated. Doing a little dance. Now we're adding the three to the jump if you want. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. I think I always, well, I thought I was going higher until I see myself in the video. I'm not going as high as I thought I was. One, two, three, last one. And hit it. Butt kicks, shaking those legs out. And again, modification, march it out, take it up, you decide. If you want to take it wider this time, this gets into the glute meats, that middle part of the glute. Three, two, and one. Grab your weights. Back to your rows, to your kickback. Adding on. If you want, you can stick with those. So stick to the rows, kickback, or head to the floor, renegade rows. So you decide. You want to do the renegade rows on the floor or rows to kickback. Wherever you're at, keep going. If you're doing rows to kick back on the floor, you're going to do 10 a side. If you're standing with me right now, we're going to do 20. So I'm about at nine. So hopefully if you're on the floor, you're close to 10 on one side. Then you'll switch sides if you're on the floor. So you'll do the other arm, 10 renegade rows on the other side, or you can stay up. If you're standing, make sure your knees are bent. Make sure your core is engaged. If you're doing your renegade rows, core should also be engaged. So you want to make sure that low back is not hitting it. Does anyone know if we've hit 20? I don't know. I'm going to say two more. If you're doing the renegade rows, hold a high plank and wait for us. And everyone down to a high plank. Heading here. Right knee, right elbow, windshield wiper across. Step it back. And then raise. In, across, back. Raise, listen for after this one. In, cross, back, raise, hold. Right foot's coming to the outside of the right hand. Open twist. Back to that high plank. Knee, right elbow, across, back, high plank. Step it up. Open. One more time. Bringing it up, across, back, high plank. Out to the side, open. And high plank. Other side, left knee. Left elbow, across, and hover. Again, this can be done from your knees. Do not feel like you have to do this on your toes. This time, after this one, hover, left foot's coming out, 
That's fine too. And back up. One more round. Here we go. I need water or my voice won't be able to talk anymore. All right. So I will be sweating right along with you right now. Woo! Round three. Lunge to that shoulder press with the knee drive. Holding that right, right arm, left leg goes back, stepping it back, shoulder press. If you want, bring it down for a tricep, holding that balance, and down. So back, press, add the tricep. If you want, modification. Don't put that, or keep that foot down and do your tricep here. So you decide, but you can do the extra balance. Woo! Especially if your legs are a little shaky shake. I think we're at five. See, this is where I'm always like, man, trainers don't count, which is true. If you're trying to teach and lead, this is why I like to time stuff. I should have done that, shoot. Next week, we'll do some time stuff. One more, that way I can see what time is on your side. Good, other side. Left hand, right leg goes back. So back, knee drive, adding that tricep. Back, knee drive. So once more, you find your modification. If you want to keep that foot down, if that balance is really challenging, or if you're really enjoying the balance, keep up with it. Wherever you're at though, trying to keep those ribs down. So my core is really working to keep myself stable. Last two. Last one. Better good. Weights down. Pulses. So sinking down, right foot forward, left foot back, pulsing, one, two, three, and hop if you want to hop, or just stay to these pulses. One, two, three, and hop if you're hopping. I'm way off probably from where you are, but one, two, three hops, or just pulses. Keep it up. It's also hard when I don't have anyone in front of me, so I don't know what people are doing. So I'm just going to guesstimate. Do a little of each. And in my head, I'm counting about where we're at. Helping you go with the flow. One more. And switching sides. Left foot forward, right foot back. Pulsing it down. Or adding those three and halves. You decide where you're at. Where's your energy? What do you need from this workout? We're at circuit one of three. Two more circuits and a finisher today. Our finisher is a core and booty finisher. So I know y'all love it. So we're going to finish with a little finisher. Let's do one more. Woo! And butt kicks. Back to those butt kicks. Shaking those legs out. Maybe a little side to side. Maybe forward. Maybe really fast. If you want to bring your heart rate up. Where are you at? Three, two, and one. Rows to the kickback. Option, add on on the floor. Always can stay here. You're gonna do about 20. Rows to the kickback, start now. Renegade rows on the floor. Option, do you wanna add a kickback? 10 of these on each side if you do. Try to keep those hips square. Keep her going. I did not wanna do those today. <laughs> I already did some, so I'm good. But if you wanna go for it, and it's not like your fourth workout of the day. Have at it. Maybe workout one, I would have been more apt. Whew. But you know what I mean, depends on. You might be working out four times a day. Maybe just once. Maybe once every few days, wherever you're at. You know your energy level. You decide for you. We're gonna do about five more, because I really wasn't counting. At least I'm honest. Let's do three. Squeeze. Wherever you're at with the squeeze with that tricep. Last one. And we're all meet in that high plank. Windshield wiper. This time, high plank. Windshield wiper across, across, step. Across, across, step. So bringing it right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, step. This is a really big 
mobility move. So if your step is way back here, totally cool. If you are like, whoo, down my knee, step it out with that knee down. All right, you're just working on that hip mobility. We're gonna do two more on that side, because I know I was talking and didn't do all the 10 reps. And other side, whoo. Left knee, left wrist, left, right wrist, step. Up, across, across, and step. So each side might be a little different feel. I know for me, the left isn't going quite as high as my right did, and doesn't feel quite as loose. So maybe I'll address that in my yoga practice. Last two, one more. All right, and standing on up, towel off. I should have grabbed one, I didn't grab water. All right, so we're gonna do to know what we're doing for the moves so probably lighter to medium weights first round all we're gonna do squat hammer press all right squat hammer curl press if this is too heavy with the weights you have at home drop one weight you can squat curl and press with one dumbbell all right you do the best that you can with what you have all right, if you can't do the shoulder press and you can just do the hammer curl part, which is just this, stick with that. All right, because I know dumbbells are hard to come by right now. So doing whatever you got at home, doing the best you can. Last one of these. Keep those arms up, bend those elbows, triceps. Triceps, all the way down and up. Last four. And we're going to tricep kickbacks. No row this time. Ribs are down. And kickbacks. Hinging forward. Squeeze and hinge. Squeeze and hinge. Keep it up. Squeeze. Squeeze. We're looking good, we got three to go. Three. And then we're hitting the floor for mountain climbers for 15 seconds. Floor it up, mountain climbers if you want on the wall. Wall looks like this. Floor looks like this. 15 seconds. Shoulders pulled back. Driving those knees up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that high plank. Shoulder taps, alternating sides. Woo! Hips stay nice and level. Try not to swing those hips. Keep those feet farther apart to help. Shoulders, elbows, wrists in one straight line. And then push it back down, dog. Woo! Roll it on up. That was one circuit, so that wasn't too bad. Let's do round two of that. Grab those weights. We're adding on, though. Squat. Hammer. Press. Add your tricep now. Squat, hammer, press, tricep at the top. Once more, if it's too heavy with what you got, drop a weight. You can always do this one weight with the triceps. So it would be squat, curl, press with the one weight. All right? Everything is figureoutable, as Marie Forleo says, if you are familiar. We got two more. After this next one, I want you to hold the weights up though. Squat, curl, press, tricep. Drop one of them. Keep one. Everyone should have one. Little pulses. So little, 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 little. I'm just bending down so you guys can see me. Elbows face forward. Pulse it, pulse it. For three, two, and one. Grab both weights. Kickbacks. All the way back, hold it for a second, and in. So we're really hitting the triceps, or back of the arms. I'm a big fan of working the backside of the body. Because typically, we don't, well, we're sitting a lot. Um, we might, maybe we're not anymore, who knows? But a lot of times we are, and so we're hunched forward. So I like to make sure 
We are working the back side of the body to round, to make sure we're rounded. We're well rounded. And done. Mountain climbers, wall or floor. Hit it, 15 seconds. Shoulders, elbows, wrists. One straight line. In three, two, one. Hold that plank. Tap, tap. Maybe drop to the knees, maybe stand your toes. Push up. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and then add that push up. Keep it going. I'm gonna talk you through it. Keep going though. So you can always bend your knees for those taps. So a shoulder tap can be from the knees. And this just might be where you stay. So if you're like, I don't want to do a push up, I can't. Just stay here. Don't have to add that push up. If you want to add the push up, keep adding it. If you're on the wall, same thing. Bring yourself up to the wall and you just do the push ups on the wall. We all got. Two more, wherever you're at, tap, tap, push up, or tap, tap, up. And that should be about done. Standing on up. Woo! Third set now, third set. So last time with this circuit. And then we're on to circuit three, a three, and then a finisher to come. I should see, we're doing pretty good with time, doing pretty good. All right, so round three. Ready, squat, hammer, press, Tricep all the way down and up. Yup, full range of motion here. Trying to make sure if it's getting a little heavy, drop to that one weight because I want that full tricep extension overhead. So really get full. Well, so the tricep, try means obviously three. So you have three tricep heads. We are trying to engage the two major ones with that overhead extension. So we want to make sure we're not just doing half. We want to get all the way down, all the way up. That's when you might feel that little shake. And that is good. That's where we build the muscle. That's where the change happens. That shake. That, ooh, it's getting hard. I might need to drop down in weights. Yes, that's what we want. We want to be able to do that. That's where growth happens. This is your last one. Good. Pulse all the way down and up. All the way down and up. We're doing five big ones. Four, five, last one, drop one. And little pulses, little, little, little down and up. Little, little elbows pull together. In three, two, bring it all the way down and up. All the way down and up. Three, last two, all the way down, all the way up. Grab both weights, kickbacks. So all the way back, squeeze and in. Squeeze. Woo! So hopefully you're feeling it. I know I'm sweating. I also didn't open my window because the neighbors were getting home when I started this. I mean, they could have, I guess, done it in their yard with me. One more. And down for mountain climbers. Hit it 15 seconds. Driving those knees up. You can always just tap and walk. If you're like, whoa, I'm tired, just do this from your knees. Do what you can, though. Because it's your last round of this one. In five, three, two, Hold that high plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and push up again. Shoulder, shoulder, do your push up. Woo! Trying to do tricep push up. Shoulder, shoulder, push up. Shoulder, shoulder, push up. Yes, you can. I'm trying to tell myself that too. Yes, you can, Andrea. Your, your arms aren't going to fall off already. Two more. Last one. And down dog it up. Woo! All right. Two circuits down. One to go and a finisher. All right. We got bicep curls next. Um, and that will be it for weights that you're really going to need. So where do you want for your biceps? Or whatever you have available. Maybe I grab water real quick. Make sure my voice doesn't crack or go. That was your little, little cue for a break as well. So we got plie squats with the bicep curl. Heels in, toes out. One dumbbell or two, plie squat down and curl. So for instance, if I was gonna do this, right now I have 10 pounds. I would not do this if this is my for real workout. I would probably do 20s. So I, was, I would lift as heavy as I can, slash that's all I have. <laughs> 20 is the heaviest I have. 
at home. So you kind of judge for yourself where you're at. If you're like, like for me, this feels very, very light. So I'm not going to get the burn. I'm not going to get the change with the 10 pounds. It's fine because I'm trying to talk and do this video. But if I was doing it for my workout, I would want heavier. So that's what you're trying to find. Where is that healthy edge for you? Last one. Good. Weights down. Hold that plie. Pulse it. Arms can be open. Hands to the hips. Hands behind the back. Wherever you want. Do a little dance. I don't know if I can sing. Otherwise, you get taken off YouTube, I think. Three, two, and hit it. Whew. Walk out. T-spine rolls. We got five of these puppies. So, standing at the back edge. Pretend of your yoga mat if you don't have one out. Walk it out. High plank. Roll, roll, walk it back, and stand it up. Four more. Walk it out. T-spine roll. You can always do these from your knees. And walk it back. Or if you're not quite in sync, you can always just do three. Don't judge yourself. You do the best you can. I've been working out for many years. So... My level will be different than your level. Some of you might be in way, way better shape. And that's just fine. And done. We're going to go ahead, up down planks though for eight from your toes or your knees. High plank, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. High plank, low plank from your knees. Wherever you're at, we've got eight of these. Switch whichever hand is leading if you haven't already. If you're alternating, Keep alternating. Hips are staying nice and level. Good. And from here, down dog. Right hand's reaching to the left calf. High plank. Down dog, left hand to right calf. High plank. Keep alternating sides. When you come to the center, hips are staying nice and level. We are not dropping to the floor. Nice flat back. And hold, hold that plank, hold that plank, hold that plank, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Down dog, walk those hands back. Roll it on up. Woo! All right, round two. Grab those weights. Please squats with the bicep curls. Curl. Here we go. Settling back in here. Woo! Exhale when you pull up. And a good reminder to breathe. Feeling good, pushing through those heels to activate the glutes. Three, two, one, squat down, put the weights down, hold that plie squat. This time, left heel lifts, right heel lifts, left, right. Keep alternating, staying low. How low can you go? Let's get into those quads. Let's burn it up. Woo! Five, four, three, two. Last one on each side. Very good. Stepping into the back of your mat. Walk out, T-spine rolls. Five of these. Ready? Walking it out. High plank. Alternate sides. And walking it back. Standing it up, walking it out. Good, we got three to go. If you want to add on, walk out high plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap with your T-spines. Go for it. Last two. Adding on if you want. Again, these are all core. Like this is core, core, core. My core is working to help myself get there. Core is working, core is engaged. Not a ton of crunches. Those shoulder taps, core, core, core. Walking it back. Woo! Up, down planks. Eight of these. Four on each arm lead. So from the high plank or low plank, elbow, elbow, back to those hands. Elbow, elbow. If you're from your knees, reminder. This is what it looks like. And then we'll switch. Left hand goes down first or right hand. Or keep alternating. From those toes, whatever you want. You stay on those toes, you stay on the knees. Push it back, down dog. Right hand to left calf, high plank. Left hand, right calf, high plank. Alternate. We're looking good. Last two. Last one. 
Hold that high plank. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Dog, dog. Walk it back. Woo. Roll it up. Woo -hoo -hoo. Last round. Here we go. Circuit three. We got to finish her after this. So grab those weights. Heels in, toes out. Last time, plies with the biceps. Right now, this for me is like my rest move. We all have them. We have that move where we're like, oh, this is like the easier one of the circuit. It's my rest, but I'm still working move. This is it for me. I'm liking this. Last five. And four. Three. Two, last one. Last one, you're gonna hold. Weights down, stay in that plie. This time, both heels lifting, both heels lifting. Woo! So really focus on those inner thighs. Can you feel those inner thighs activated? I know I can. I can also feel my glutes. So focus on those muscles. Try to engage those muscle groups. Last three, two, one. Stepping it back. Walk out, plank to T-spine rolls. Here we go. Walk it out. Alternate with those T-spines. Walking it back. If you want, jump squat at the top. Walk it out. T-spine, T-spine. Walk it back. You can add that jump squat or just a regular squat or skip the squat. <laughs> Whatever you want. But this is our last full real circle, well, kind of circuit, because we have our finisher. And that's still real work. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Woo! And walk it back. And jump squat, or squat. Up, down planks, four, eight. So far, these are my least favorites. <laughs> and I usually don't mind them, but in this circuit, not today. Woo! And then four on each arm. Or keep alternating. One more. And down dog. Right hand to left calf. High plank. Keep alternating. Keep her going. We can do this. We are almost done with this circuit. One more. Down dog. High plank. Hold. Hold. Hold, squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one, dog, dog, walk those hands back. Woo, all right. Way to go, like high fives. But I no high fives because we can't really touch each other right now. Virtual high five, all right. Weights can get out of the way for our last one. All right, Woo. A little bit of water if you want, because remember, we are gonna do core. And we've been doing core the whole workout, if you haven't noticed as well. But we're going to do a little bit on the floor. I'm going to check my time. Okay. Whew. We know sometimes I plan too much. I think I planned just the right amount today. Okay. So I'm moving my ball so I can see my board. I have my own whiteboard that I wrote everything out for today. We're going to hit the floor. Laying on your back first. All right. Bridge pulses is up first. Laying on your back, hands alongside your hips, knees are bent, lift your hips to the sky, lower to the floor. Lifting and lowering. We're just pulsing. So no weight. If you have a band, those booty bands, you can feel free to put one on your knees, but you don't need one. I didn't grab mine because I was just assuming um, nobody has it. Although I'm sure some people do. And if you want, put it on. But you'll probably, by the time you get it on, you're going to be done. One more. Hold, pull those hips up, right knee in, and then left knee. Hands up the floor, hips are trying to stay level. Wiping the sweat that's stinging your eyes out of your eyes, because I know I got some stinging sweat right now. Woo. Here we go. Feeling good, hips are lifted. One more on each side. Very good, and laying on your back. Arms and legs out wide, starfish crunches. So laying, everything is out wide. You're gonna crunch up, balancing on your sits bones, and then lay back down. If you're like, I can't quite make it that high, you just come like this to a little ball, and then back to the floor. I'm sorry, I don't, can't quite see me as well as I would hope, um, but this is what I got. <laughs> this is as big as my office is. I 
and tried the other way. It didn't quite work. So this is what I got. And I didn't want to wear my AirPods for this because I knew they'd fall out. So I'm moving around too much. One more. And then back of your backs, arms alongside your hips, tucking up kind of underneath your booty, legs straight in the air, low back, push down into the mat, slowly lower your legs towards the floor. As soon as your back starts to arch, you stop. So down as low as you can handle, and then back up. Again, keeping that low back down onto the floor. We're looking good. Low back, push down. I really feel up my lower abs if I'm focusing on my low back being pushed down. If I'm flying through and not focusing, I lose that connection. So make sure you have that connection. We got one more after this. Last one. Very good. Hands behind the head. Slow bicycle. So slow, slow, slow. Right elbow towards left knee. Right leg is hovering. Center. Switch. Hold. And switch. So I want you to hold for two counts before you switch to the other side. So a little time under tension with the core. Try not to put those feet on the floor. Woo! Feeling good. We got one more after this. We won't be done though, because we're gonna repeat. And hands alongside your hips. Legs lower as low as they can. Push the low back into the floor. Hold here, hover, hover, hover. Keep your abs down, keep your abs down. Breathe, breathe. Breathe. If you feel in the low back, raise those legs higher. This should not feel in the low back. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees into the chest. Massage out that low back before we repeat. Woo! Feet down, hands alongside the hips. Bridge pulses, lifting those hips down and up. So this is a nice little one to reset the back. If anything feels a little twingy, the bridge pulses hopefully kind of reset things. That's the goal. We already did a lot in high plank, so we're staying on our back for all of the core work at the end. Hold those hips up, hold, march it out. Again, trying to keep those hips level and still so those glutes are working. We're looking good. And this can be having, you can wear a band and do these too with the marches. It will make it harder, but you can do them. Last one on the left. Lower back down, starfish. Legs and arms out wide, balancing up on those sits bones, or hugging those knees into the chest on your back. You decide where you're at, pull it in, exhale, as you crunch out, out, up. Woo. We're almost there, we're almost there. So don't quit on me now, we're so close. Last one, leg lowers, legs straight to the sky, hands underneath the booty, keep that low back pushed down, Really low and coming back up. Woo! We got 10 of these. I think. Yes, we do. <laughs> I said I think because I was like, do I want to do 10? No, we are. Doesn't matter what I want, it's what I planned. Well, it does matter what I want if I was listening to my body. But I'm teaching you to listen to your body. So maybe you're saying, you know what? I just want eight. You stop at eight. This is number eight. We've got two more. Last two, and you got slow bicycles after this. Last one, hands behind the head, right knee, or left knee to right elbow. Hover, two seconds before you switch. Hold time under tension. Legs will stay off the mat, if possible. If you need to, if you feel it in your low back, please reset and rest. If you are good, keep pushing. This should not be in low back. That's our goal. Legs can go higher if you feel it in the low back. Or it just might be too much. Your abs are, might be done. Because again, there's sneaky core work all day today. Last one. Hands underneath the hips, hovering those legs above the floor, holding here. We're doing good. Low back, push down. Try to keep out of the low back from being in pain. Last three, two, one. Hug the knees in. Guess what? We got one more set, and then we are done. Woo, let's go. Last set, feet down. Bridge pulses, down and up. You should be very proud of yourself for coming, for showing up, for doing it. This was not easy. It's not easy to motivate yourself, especially when you're at home. Just turn on a video and just get to work. 
So applaud yourself right now for doing that. Hold those hips up, march it out. I know, because I've been doing the same thing. I've had to put it in my calendar, I've made an appointment, I know what workout I'm doing, and that's half the battle, is just having that plan. So make sure you get that plan in place. And lower it down, arms and legs out wide. Starfish it up. Exhale. We're looking good. We got four to go of the starfish. Three, two, and one. Leg lowers, hands alongside the hips. Legs straight to the sky. Slowly lowering down. And lifting them back up. Lowering down. And lifting. We're doing good. Feeling that burn. Woo. Oh, we're at four. <laughs> Wish I could say we were at eight, but I'm not quite there yet. Keep that low back push down. I'm telling you as much as I'm telling myself. We're almost there. Seven. Woo. Last two. And then we got slow bicycles. Slow bicycles are next. Legs up, hands behind the head, and slow. Hold for two before you switch. Hold for two before you switch. Doing good, try to keep that low back, push onto the floor, even during this. We're almost there. And hands underneath the booty. Legs low to the floor, holding here. Push that low back down. This is our last move for today. Think of this as kissing your workout goodbye. In five, three, two, and one. Up the knees into the chest. Woo! I'm applauding you. Great work. Great, great, great work. Hug those knees in. Roll that spine out. You should be so proud of what you did today. All right, arms out to the side. Let those knees fall to the right in a gentle twist. I'm a big fan of twisting during the spring season because the spring we tend to get stuck congested in our chest and in our lungs. So twists kind of help detoxify that. So a twist every day would be a great thing to add into your routine. And then just breathing all the way down into the low belly with your twist. And then we'll go ahead and exhale, switching sides. I gotta move away from the wall just a smidgen. And then maybe you look over the opposite shoulder. Maybe you stay looking towards the sky. Whatever feels best for you, but again, breathing all the way down into that low belly. Trying to connect back to the body. Hopefully you've been in your body the whole time, but sometimes we float in and out during workouts. <laughs> and bringing those knees back into the chest. We're going to go ahead and roll like a ball to a seated position. You're going to take that left leg straight out in front of you. Right leg is going to come on top of your left knee, right above it. Hopefully you can see. So sitting up nice and tall, you're going to get a stretch in your hip as well as in your hamstring. Walk those hands down your left leg, and you should feel your left hamstring and maybe a little bit in your right hip. Breathe in here. Whew. You're doing good. Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know if you liked it. Send me an email. I have designed the next one. I think I put some Tabata in the next one as well for, for next week's. But let me know. And slowly rolling all the way up, switching to the other side. And then crossing the ankle just above the knee, sitting up nice and tall, walking those hands down. Woo! Then you can see which side might be a little more tight. For me, it's this side. I feel that a lot in my glute. And remember, drink lots of water. Drinking nice uh, teas, too, is great at this time of the year. And by tea, you can just do a little bit of lemon in some warmer water. It doesn't have to be hot water. It can be just room temperature water with a little lemon is great. Um, these are some Ayurvedic tips that I would say. That's what I like to share during stretching. Um, but some ginger in your teas if you like that. My favorite go-to, we can come out of that one first and I'll tell you. Soles of the feet come together, butterfly, taking those hands to your feet, knees open, and then slowly hinge forward. But my favorite is having warm water a little bit of lemon, and I never measure, so I just do a little some squirts. Um, some ginger, I cut up like probably half an inch of fresh ginger, I throw that in there, 
and then I add a little turmeric and I have that well, probably two or three times throughout the day. I'll make two to three cups of that. And again, that's really good for the spring season. So if you are um, familiar, I guess Ayurveda is, it is the sister science of yoga. So it's kind of the, an Eastern or India, it's originated in India, approach to um, preventative medicine or preventative care. So that's, those are some of the key things that I've been doing at this time of the year, is incorporating those twists, moving, 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 which you've already done because you did your workout today. Um, and then just having some nice warm beverages throughout the day. And again, room temperature or hot tea, whatever you prefer. All right, hugging those knees up. We'll go ahead and just kind of twist up that spine, taking those arms, maybe crossing them, giving yourself a hug, thanking yourself for showing up today, switching out those arms, other arm on top, giving yourself a hug, patting yourself on the back. Woo, you did it. Thank you so much. Um, I will see you again next week for another HIT workout.